Hi everyone. If you're watching this video, then you already know I lost the first ever Master vs. Many challenge on chess.com. It was rough. It was rough. As you can see from the final position here, it was um, it was a little violent, right? You see that rook? Uh, coming down on my F-file there, right? And uh, that was not meant to be an inappropriate pun, but uh, it, uh, it definitely definitely didn't feel good. Let's... um. Let's check out what happened here. So as we as we pop over to our analysis tab and we and we back up a couple of the moves. The last time we had a video, of course, I was calculating the critical decision of how to deal with the fact that I had blundered this whole idea of the bishop being pinned and and this really direct plan with queen to c8. Um, if you are just watching this video and you missed the entire series, we did videos every few moves. And in the beginning, we were doing a video on every move of this game, me versus the world, me versus the chess.com member. So I encourage you to back up in this video series and check them out if you want to see how it all, how it all happened and how it all played out. Uh, but, you know, we, we learned a lot along the way about this structure. I felt like I learned something about my own calculation, you know, my investment in making this whole plan work with C5 and really underestimating the threats. And as I kind of said when we got here, I kind of knew I was busted. I, I thought maybe there were some final chances on the C file. I had calculated some ideas like this, where I thought that maybe I'd have some tactics with the rook coming to C1 um, in order to overload the queen, where she had to guard the rook and the bishop. And of course, if you take on C1 with check, I take. You take the queen, I take. I'm actually doing well there with the pawn. Um, but... It didn't work, and I knew it when I played it that it would fall to this idea, but wanted to challenge the members one more time to make sure that they calculated accurately and put me away. The only winning move here for black, even though it is a winning move, is the move rook to f3. So the members get all the credit. Uh, why is this winning? Well, I now I'm forced to put the king on a square that's going to allow black to take with check. If I went to e2, the, the queen would fall with check. If I go to f3, the queen can take h3 with check, and then you win the queen for free without me winning yours. Um, if I go to d2, you take on d3 with the rook, and you check me. So rook f3 is key in order to uh, for black to finish off this game, and that's exactly what the members did. So uh, full full power, full credit, what credit is due. Let's, let's scroll down and, and see here what some of the members have been saying here. There's so many of you. We got... Uh, uh, Baza Cow. I don't know that I was really going to win. Um, I did blunder. I don't know that I was ever winning this position at all. I mean, I didn't. I didn't feel great about my opening approach. Uh, I, I felt like I had a decent feel for the middle game, but I was overly invested in my plan. And and uh, and there you go. Now we have someone saying that that he put all this in Stockfish Black. Now that this is now that it's ended, I put all this in Stockfish. Well, that's good. You put it in Stockfish after the game because during the game that would be cheating, and we catch cheaters on chess.com. So uh, you put the games in Stockfish, and uh, Black didn't make any serious mistakes. White's twenty fifth move was a mistake, um, and that pretty much cost the game. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're on the same page about that. Um, why did I resign? Winners never quit and quitters never win. Well, chess is not a game that is really defined by that, okay? Because chess is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's, oh, there's nothing. The win is in the lesson. The win is in the learning experience, okay? I'm not trying to be moral or spiritual on you, but it's the truth. I mean, you're going to lose chess games. And actually, you can cost yourself psychological fatigue if you're playing games on just to play on when you don't actually think you have any chance of winning. So anyway, that's my opinion on that. Um, I timed out in the end, but I was just making the last move. It, it, it didn't really make a difference because I was getting ready to resign anyway, so that should answer all of those questions. Um, some other videos. Uh, I am going down, and I did go down. Thank you, Red Hager and, and everybody else. Eight pages of comments or maybe more. I'm not going to check out all of them. I just wanted to show all of you members that I do read your comments. I was, uh, was paying attention, and I appreciate every single member who took part in this game. And now I'm going to encourage everybody to head over to the Vote Chess page and join up in International Master John Bartholomew's game, which is in progress. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it and, and give Johnny B a little bit of a preview there. He's got 3,100 players signed up right now. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and... Um, they're locked in what seems to be, was probably a classical Nimzo with queen to c2, I would guess. This is the first time I've looked at the game, honestly. Could also be a queen's Indian, but I'm going to guess a classical Nimzo. What was it? Yeah, so we had a Nimzo with queen to c2, okay. And uh, this is all pretty typical, straightforward stuff. Looks like both sides playing theory. Nothing really uh, too spectacular going on yet. 
Um, and John knows this theory really well, so I expect him to play the position, play the position out, and uh, and get a pretty pretty decent decent middle game against the world. But the world is tough, as I learned firsthand. Right after John, everybody, we have a vote chess game that's going to take place between the world and Simon Williams. So you can already start signing up for that. Uh, please do so. Please. Uh, uh, have fun, and uh, I'll see you next time when I have the courage to take on the world again in another Master vs. Many showdown. But until then, Danny Wrench signing off. Go get John Bartholomew. Give him your best shot, and uh, thanks to everybody for playing.